Hey Sag, welcome to your mid-monthly reading for mid-June 2022. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We are going to see what's going on for you guys for the rest of the month. So take what resonates, obviously, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, your rising sign. That popped out pretty quick. All right. We have holistic health, number seven, which is the root chakra. We also have creativity, number 10, which is... Um, I believe this is the sacral chakra. Um, so, lots of fire here, Sag. Some of you could be working on your health at this time in some way, shape, or form, or maybe even just trying to find a, a foundation for yourself. Um, let's see. Building your world, creation, expansion, and networking. And we have precognition, psychic ability, future vision. So some of you are looking to like expand your world in for, like for your future. Like you're kind of being, I want to say like progressive in some way. And I feel like that's kind of why this creativity is popping out as well. Um, and even the holistic health aspect. We have Drifter, number 14, experiencing life as it comes. And then bottom of the deck, we have Watchers, transpersonal. So, yeah, I just feel like you're you're trying to build something for yourself here, Sag. Yeah, I just saw the Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Um, I feel like there's a sense of creativity, but you're also kind of going with the flow. Like, I don't really feel like you're forcing anything with this Drifter. Um... You know, you might have a plan, but if things change, you're kind of just going with it. Let's see what's going on for Sag with the tarot, mid-June, seven of pentacles here, the moon, eight of pentacles, we have the king of pentacles, lots of pentacles, king of swords, seven of cups, death card, four of swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. So definitely moving forward. Um, there's a big change that's coming here. Death, Four of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. But I also, like, I feel like there's a sense of, um, some of you may know this, this change is coming. The Moon, the King of Swords, and the Four of Swords. Okay. I feel like though you're working on something, you're definitely putting a lot of time and energy, seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles here. Um, I feel like almost like towards a goal or towards a dream that you have for yourself. Um, but I also feel like there's this like, I don't know, there's this transformation. Now there could be a person here that you're, you're dealing with somehow, king of pentacles, king of swords. Okay. Um, There could be a person that somehow is involved in all of this. They may be helping you or, um, yeah, this just might be something that you may be, like, I feel like this person would approach you if that was the case. Let's see what this moon is here, because I feel like there's something that maybe you are not seeing, and I don't know if this is, like, a, like, because it's, like, a divine timing, you're not meant to see it right now, right? Um, what's this moon card here for Sag? We did also just have that full moon in Sag. We have the Queen of Cups. So there's something like intuitively King of Cups. Um, I feel like intuitively, I don't know, there's something, and this can also be creation, right? Creative energy with the water here. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. There's definitely another person here for you guys. We do have the um, High Priestess. Again, more intuition. It, I feel like your intuition is kind of guiding you forward of like where to commit your time and your energy. Um, some of you are also potentially taking your energy off of a relationship and focusing more on your work. What's this Eight of Pentacles here? Yeah, Page of Wands, like a project. Nine of Wands, really persevering, working hard. Some of you are trying to like finish something up. Um... 
it's like you're doing things that benefit you and your own what you need you know what you need for yourself what's going to bring you a sense of health here for you right building your own world expanding your own world going kind of within um and just doing what you need to do to get get things done you're definitely very intuitive at this time okay we have the two of cups there is something about a relationship here though why is this king of pentacles here why is this king of pentacles here six of wands okay so i do feel like again it's like you're working towards success again some of you like there's a some sort of a message that i feel like maybe you don't see coming page of cups the tower um and the high priestess eight of wands some sort of communication what's this king of swords here We have the nine of wands. Give me one more here. King of swords. Ten of swords. I feel like you guys are hitting some level of success, okay? You're putting a lot of time and energy into yourself, your own needs, what you need for your own personal life, working on your projects, things that you know, again, are, are going to help you move forward. And then there's like this King of Swords person <laughs> who I just feel like, um, and like if it's you as well, like if this is still just your energy, it's like you're detaching from something. What's this um, Seven of Cups? We have the Fool. Three of Cups. Some of you have, um, you may have options coming in that make you really happy, okay? Things to celebrate. There could be like new opportunities through people that you're kind of like opening up and expanding yourself with. Like I just feel like with when it comes to your goals and your dreams, you're definitely having some sort of um, success, but there's something around a relationship though that's kind of just like hidden in the background here. What's this death card? Two of Pentacles. What's the Four of Swords? Knight of Pentacles. And what's this Wheel of Fortune for Sag? I feel like there's someone who maybe is having a hard time letting you go. We have the Ace of Wands, the Devil here with the Wheel of Fortune. That always indicates to me like a karmic cycle. Um, two of Wands. Yeah, like someone, someone's not wanting to let you go why is this two of pentacles with a death card yeah justice it's almost like someone has to make a decision i feel like this is the love thing you're doing good on your own i feel like you're successfully you know accomplishing things you're getting your own life in order you're focused on your your own stuff and i feel like there's this relationship in the background and intuitively i feel like you know something may be happening with it or something's going to change with it um, but you're not really doing anything about it. It's like almost like you're waiting for this person to come towards you. But there is a choice or a decision, Justice to a Pentacles with this death card about like an ending or a new beginning. Like, is this over or is it, you know, is it final or are we moving on? Like, you know, together. I feel like someone maybe doesn't want to let you go here. Let me clarify this two of cups that randomly fell out here you guys two of cups for sag what is this about yeah an emperor page of cups there's definitely somebody who's going to send you a message here if it's if it's someone who you've already had yeah high priestess it's probably someone you're not talking to someone from your potentially your past six of cups or someone you have some form of a relationship with um it could even just be like a friendship but I feel like there's a message coming in here. Um, if this is like someone who you don't necessarily, I feel like for some of you, you do have a history with this person because it's nine of wands, 10 of swords. Like you probably have had some sort of ending with this person. And it's almost like they know that they have to choose whether they're gonna move on from you or whether they're gonna give this another shot and balance things out. Because for some of you, the karma needs to be balanced out here, justice, with especially with this devil and the wheel of fortune. A cycle has to change here. Can't keep repeating the way things have been happening. It's kind of what it feels like. So I feel like if they're coming forward, though, it's coming in pretty slow. 
and I feel like with the page of cups kept coming out it's almost like a like a small gesture it's not anything like you know crazy it's just kind of like a hey how's it going or like they like something of yours or they I don't know it's like there's something kind of casual is what it feels like uh, they could also be seeing that you're moving on and they're not that could be what's triggering this kind of reaction from them so let's get a final message here for you Sag final message We have change as with the falling leaves embrace change again i feel like some of you are just like creating change in your life it does feel like you're you're focused on you which is great we also have surprises venture down the rabbit hole we have twilight surrender to the last hour when the light barely touches the flowers we have share the busy bee should still make time for each flower so I just feel like there could be some a surprise or a change here that kind of is shocking for you or just something that comes up here that is pushing you in a new direction. I do feel like you guys are having, again, like I said, like some level of success for yourself. You're creating an aspect or a world within, you know, your own situation, your creativity, your, your, your fire energy is definitely out here. And definitely trust your intuition because I do feel like intuitively you are picking up on something here and you have to trust your intuition with this situation definitely but also just you know embracing that a little bit more um when it comes to just life in general so it doesn't look bad i feel like there's a level of success you will have to figure out potentially who what is going on again some of you though this person's taking their sweet time so this might not come up for a while if they even come forward um, cause I feel like there's a little bit of a hesitation on this person's part about what they actually want to do. So that's what I have for you, Saj. Hopefully that resonates. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of your other signs, but I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of June and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.